Let me take you back to the turn of the century, the late 1890s and early 1900s, on this edition of our local history video series, Talking Over Old Times. I'm Don Trosper, Public History Manager with the Heritage Builders Program of the Olympia Tumwater Foundation, with help from the City of Tumwater. I want to take you back on an imaginary trip on the electric streetcar line that went up Olympia's Main Street, which is now Capitol Way, and all the way to the end of the line here in Tumwater. The streetcar line began as a horse-drawn operation until about 1892 when electricity began to be generated on the Deschutes River. It was a popular form of transportation as it took advantage of the new technology of electricity. One of the newspaper articles stated that two of the streetcars had open roofs. In the rain, they said the electric current made an aurora borealis among the passengers. Overall, though, it was a nice trip up the brick-paved Main Street towards Tumwater. The cars passed landmarks like the Grand Olympian Hotel. And then, once leaving the Olympia city limits, turned slightly southeast where they passed near the fairgrounds in Tumwater. Now that was a popular place. There were sports fields, a bicycle racing velodrome, and for a couple years even hosted the Thurston County Fair. That fairgrounds drew a lot of people onto the streetcar line. The former Sunset Life building stands next to the site today. Next, the line began to go slightly downhill along what is now Capitol Boulevard and past the Tumwater Club. Now this was a large hall built by the Schmidt family as an athletic club for the Olympia Brewing Company employees and for use by the general public. That building hosted events like the governor's inaugural ball, indoor sports, uh, Red Cross dances for soldiers during World War I, and in later years was used as a roller skating rink and a bowling alley with the pins reset manually. The tracks then turned right down the hill and then made a quick turn left to reach the end of the line at the east end of the Boston Street Bridge, where there was a small station and a barber shop run by Ransom Paget. Businessman Hazard Stevens, son of the first territorial governor Isaac Stevens, wanted to attract visitors to the end of the line in Tumwater, so he built an early version of Northwest Trek, an animal park at the current site of Tumwater Falls Park. It had enclosures for elk, bear, and even had some swans. A wonderful place for families to bring their picnic lunches and enjoy the day at Tumwater Park. Maybe take in a band concert. The brewery added an extension of the streetcar line downhill to their plant so that using a special flat car, they could transport kegs down to Olympia's port. It was said that when a full load of kegs were making their way up that initial grade, it required so much electric power that all the lights in Olympian Tumwater dimmed. The streetcars and rails were abandoned when motorized buses came into common use.